Today on Commander Replay, we're back with some more Voltron Sucks for Feek of the Many. Let's find out just how bad Voltron actually sucks, next on Commander Replay. I want to thank my awesome Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. If you want to help support the channel and vote on which decks I play next, feel free to check out my Patreon at the link below. And if you're looking to purchase new cards, be sure to use the TCG Affiliate Player link because it helps support the channel and it doesn't cost you anything. All right, welcome back, everyone. We are playing some Voltron Sucks, Rafik of the Many. Take a look at this opening hand. I've actually already taken the free mulligan. Uh, it was a one-lander. This is three. Three with no mana ramp, like, isn't the best, but I think we can make it. Uh, should we mulligan try to get to fast mana? I think this hand is solid otherwise, so I'm going to keep it. Come on, mana ramp off the top. So in spite of yesterday's Command Zone podcast where uh, much shade was thrown at Boros and Voltron decks as usual, I decided to build the most hardcore Rafik of the many deck I could possibly think of, and uh, that's what we're doing today. This deck has fun cards like Armageddon and Winter Orb, and there's that mana ramp. All right, so let's go Breeding Pool. Uh, pay the two life. Get the birds. And we'll pass turn like that. But yeah, this deck has fun cards like Armageddon, a Winter Orb, God Pharaoh Statue, Static Orb, and other fun things that can lock out the game. There's a wild growth for the Najila player, yeah. So for those that don't remember Rafik of the Many, uh, it used to be the boogeyman of the format. It is one in Bant for a 3-3 with Exalted. Whenever a creature you control attacks alone, that creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. And it says, whenever a creature you control attacks alone, it gains double strike until end of turn. Rafik does a lot of damage. It, it it was the quintessential Voltron commander for a very long time, and having run into a few of them over the past year, the deck is still really, really strong. If you run out of removal, the deck just kills you. That's just what it does. Uh, it is definitely one of the most streamlined Voltron commanders, and with a card like Finest Hour and a number of ways to tutor for Finest Hour... It's just a really, really lethal deck. So so I've taken as many lethal pieces uh, as I can and jammed them into a deck together, and that's what we're doing today. We got a Soul Ring for the partner opponent. And with all that, that'll bring it back to our turn. There's a Forest. Uh, what are we casting right here? Definitely not the Windfall. Um, nothing to control magic yet, so I guess we're just on Uma's Hours? Yeah, uh... Tap the bird. Uh, there could be there could be counter spells in here, so let's let's get a flood of stranded to play first, and then cast the Umazawas, and we'll crack the land at a time that it seems like it makes sense to crack a land. Opponent's gonna crack themselves a fetch. Taking a look at what our opponents are playing today. First up, we have Najula the Blade Blossom being piloted by Champion of Thun. I asked them if it's a Flash Hulk deck. They didn't specifically answer the question, <laughs> so it could be Flash Hulk. I will say, as strong as I've built this deck, it's not geared for Flash Hulk right now. Flash Hulk is just on another level of insanity uh, to be able to deal with. Not saying I couldn't get there. I would need to run myself into it a bunch of times and play, like, Tier 1 CEDH consistently. Uh, and then, you know, we could see just where the breaking point of this deck actually is. I don't think that's what we're doing today. We're still going to get some really strong decks out of our opponents, but not quite full throttle, tier 1 CEDH, all the moxes, that kind of thing. So I'll call it near CEDH. It's, I think we're still going to be pretty competitive here. Here's a worldly tutor out of the Salvala. Mana dork, maybe? Interestingly, Najila does not cast their commander. They probably got something. Which means, like, part of me's thinking about just suiting the bird up. And uh, seeing if they respond to the bird. Once we get two counters on Jit, Najila just dies once it hits play. So that's a good place to be. Opponent grabs a Ramanop Excavator with the Selvala. Seems very reasonable. Stony Silence! Uh-oh. <laughs> that's a real magic card. All right. Uh, the Jit plan is down. Uh, we can Cyclonic Rift that at some point. We may even do that this turn. Uh, we won't have four to be able to hit and do it all at once. We'll see. We'll see. Well, that Soul Ring ain't going to do much. Continuing on our opponents, next up we have Banana piloting Selvala Explorer Returned. I think we've seen his deck before. I believe it was the one where he got me with the late game blowout on Settle the Wreckage like a couple times. It happened a few times and it was very painful, each one. Um, but uh, Selvala has some ways of going infinite, drawing the deck and doing Crater Hoofy kind of things uh, is typically what you see out of a Selvala, at least the ones I run into. So, uh, also, the deck can generate a lot of mana, gain a lot of life, so, uh, so definitely very, very strong. And I didn't bring Curse Totem, which is the card you want against that. Uh, we are playing Mana Dorks ourselves, so Curse Totem 
something I like a lot in Boros decks. I like it much less if I'm playing green and I've got a lot of dorks. There's a Sylvan Library. Uh, do I want the Sylvan Library countered? I think we're better off trying to get Rafik countered as opposed to the Sylvan Library, so let's do that. Uh, forgot to crack the land at the end. We'll do it now. Hope there's no stifles. Get a Tundra. Play the Wooded Foothills. Crack the Wooded Foothills. The Tropical Island. Cast our commander. Promptly watch it get countered. <laughs> oh, it resolved. Okay, well, could still be spot removal. That could still be a thing. Why didn't they cast Najila? Seems very odd. That's a Dockside Extortionist. Uh, that's going to get a little extra mana. So in comes the Dockside Extortionist. Archangel taps mana and untaps it. It was red and green. It looked like green and black, so they might be sitting on an Assassin's Trophy. Maybe thinking about Assassin's Trophy on the Stony Silence. However, Stony Silence does shut off these treasure tokens, so I forgot about that. I wonder if opponent forgot about that also, because Dockside not doing so much right here. Perhaps a reason to leave the Stony Silence alone, at least until we're going to do ridiculous things with it, um, which will probably be this turn. Here comes Silvala. Yep. Opponent's got Assassin's Trophy on that Stony Silence. Stony Silence down, so Umazawa is back online. Uh, if Najila has interaction, they can definitely cast it with the treasure tokens now. Another Dockside Extortionist for the partner opponent, uh, and our final opponent, by the way, is Archangel227 piloting Vile Smasher and Thrasios. Uh, not exactly sure what they're up to, but Thrasios always really strong. Any sort of infinite mana will win the game with Thrasios, so you gotta be careful of that. There's a counterspell on the Dockside, so opponent wants no part of the Dockside Extortionist ramp. And there's a Demonic Tutor. We could windfall to get rid of whatever they tutor for. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, the card that would be amazing off the top right here is Sword of Feast and Famine. Oh no, what just happened? Oh no, opponent played a Fire Covenant. Oh, it blew up all of our stuff. Oh, that's no good. All right, all right. Uh, we're going we're gonna to have to work a little bit. So that'll bring it back to our turn. We draw land. Land eh, wasn't exactly what I was looking for. Fire Covenant, pretty real. Pretty real. Uh, let's play the Savannah. Does Control Magic on Silvala help that much? I'd probably rather grab Najila because Najila is crazy. Um, so I think we are on Sylvan Library, sit on Cyclonic Rift. Pass turn. And actually, a thing that we could do, we could go Cyclonic Rift, bounce something, and Windfall to get rid of it if it's a real problem. There's a Mystical Tutor for opponent. That's a good one. They get themselves a Ponder, so just looking for some extra cards at this moment. Here comes Noble Hierarch. Ponder. Dockside Extortion is going on the attack. It's going to get exalted. Swinging into the Thrasios Vile Smasher opponent. Yeah. In for two. Down at 37. We get a Mask of Memory. We'll need a creature in play before that one's super helpful off of the Selvala trigger. Opponents reveal Compost. Whenever a black card is put into a graveyard from anywhere, draw a card. Okay. Uh, reveals a land and reveals Swan Song. Counters enchantments, instants, or sorceries. Got to remember that. Always forget the legal targets on that one. Enchantments, instants, and sorceries. Okay. Here comes a Titania, Protector of Argov. Okay. Yeah, there's the fetch land. Crack the fetch land. Going to get themselves a 5-3. Ooh, opponent's going to explore. Uh, Do we two-mana rift on the Titania? Going to try to hold out for a little while. Oop, that's a field of rune. Okay. See if anyone else is interested in dealing with the uh, Titania over there. Here comes Azra Oddsmaker. Interesting. Beginning of combat in your turn, you may discard a card. If you do, choose target creature. Whenever that creature deals combat damage to a player this turn, you draw two cards. There's a uh, Command Tower into the Sylvan Library trigger. Let's see what we got coming. Use the ability. We've got a Ristic Study and a Narset. Those seem good. Narset Windfall seems like a good place to be. Uh, but we are one mana short of doing both, which is unfortunate. That being the case, let's put the Command Tower back. And I'll pay life to keep the Ristic Study. So, play the land. Part of me wants to, uh... Part of me wants to steal the Titania. But I think we're better off going... Ristic Study. Yeah, I think we're going to be better off with Ristic Study right here. Play Ristic Study. And we'll continue to sit on Cyclonic Rift and pass turn. We need to make sure that uh, opponent doesn't have a blue up for the Swan Song. Opponent can attack with the Dockside Extortionist. Yep. It's coming our way. That'll be two to us. Here comes Najila into play finally. Ristic Study will trigger. See if opponent pays for it. They do not. We get to draw. It's a command tower. 
Oh, that's a constant mists. Uh, opponent's going to sack a land. Ooh, cast with buyback. So we will need to windfall. That's a thing that we'll have to do. Trigger the Ristic Study. That's an Enlightened Tutor. Uh, okay. Get Smothering Tithe? Unfortunately, Najila has three blue sources open, so one of them could definitely be Swan Song. There's a Ramanop Excavator into the Ristic Study. Opponent lets us draw again. There's a Fassa. Do need to find some fast mana. That's the thing we're missing right now. Uh, opponent activates the Selvala. We find a land. There's an Edric Spymaster on top. Opponent reveals Abundance, and another opponent reveals Mystic Remora. Ooh, Mystic Remora Smothering Tithe seems really good. Opponent, ooh, opponent's gonna feel the ruin the tropical island. Opponent's gonna crack a polluted delta. Okay, uh, I think that actually puts us on Cyclonic Rift mana. Opponent has two blue sources left. They're gonna limb duels vault into our Aristic study. Use the ability. We draw Yavamaya Coast. To see what opponent vaults for. Is there like oh they could use like oh what's that card? Uh, the what the one mana white one protects a permanent. No, it doesn't protect it from abilities though. I don't know what they're going for. I don't know, maybe they're just getting to Revy, try to go for the win that way. Land, uh, somehow the wild growth survived. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to do that. Oh, maybe it's because the ability's still resolving? Yeah, that's probably why. We get a basic. Uh, let's get... Planes, I guess? Okay, yeah, there it goes. Cause of the, it was because the ability was still resolving. It wasn't finished. Everyone had to search for their land. We're on Cyclonic Rift mana. Uh, still gotta watch out for... Swan Song. Hmm. There's Abundance. Aristic Study will trigger. There's a Stoneforge Mystic. There's the Swan Song. Oh, life is good now. All right, use the Enlightened Tutor. Oh, but it's got a Mental Misstep. Oh, got us. Got us. Uh, Aristic Study. Draw with the Aristic Study. It's a land. Love to find like a Mana Crypt or something like that. Chromox something. There's a Carpet of Flowers. How many islands in play? Uh, not a crazy amount. Looks like one there and one there. Carpet of Flowers not doing a ton yet. Uh, Titania into us. Okay. And some Elementals into the Najila opponent. Yep. Opponent gonna send the Azra Oddsmaker at us. Yep. It's gonna hit. They'll get to draw two cards. Here comes Vile Smasher into play. Ristic Study will trigger. Opponent pays for it. Oh, that's a curiosity on the Vile Smasher. Draw with the Ristic Study. It's an Onaganata. There are a lot of cards in our hand. I may need to think about a Thought Vessel or a Reliquary Tower. Uh, that'll bring it back to our turn. That's a Mystical Tutor. Oh, what can we get with that? All right, look at the deck. We got to look at the deck list. We have all the things we want. We just need more mana to cast them. Uh, Mystical Tutor gets us a spell. Time Warp? Opponents are tapped out. Doesn't seem awful. Yeah, let's try it. Okay. Mystical Tutor. Get... Time Warp. Uh, Sylvan Library will show us Time Warp and Heroic Intervention. Definitely keep the Time Warp. How do I feel about Heroic Intervention? I mean, it's going to be good. We'll put it back on top. We have a lot of cards in hand right now. So I think right here we're going to go Time Warp, choosing ourself. Oh, opponent's going to force him to gate it! Oh, no! Uh, not going to draw with the Rhystic Study right here because uh, we've already got a hand full of stuff. Play the forest, play Carpet of Flowers. Oh man, we're probably going to die to combat damage. Uh, we'll go to our second main phase. Choose an opponent with... This is one, Choose an opponent with... Who's got the most islands? Looks like a one. Use the ability. We'll get a, a green. And then we need to discard down. Discard the Yavamaya Coast. Flooded Grove. Uh, Mask of Memory we don't need at this point. Drawn a lot of cards. Here comes Edric. Ristic Study will trigger. There's the Heroic Intervention. Najila into us. Dockside into us. Yep. It's going to make a token. Opponent gets to draw three times. We go down to 13, and we are in easy lethal range of the tokens. Probably should have just bounced the Titania much, much earlier than we did. That's a Null Rod. That's a card. Draw with Ristic Study. Trailblazer Boots. There's a Ravages of War. Yep. We don't have free counter spells in our deck. Not really enough blue cards to deal with that. Yeah, we'll scoop it up right there. So the problem with this game wasn't Voltron as a plan. The problem with this game is that we got hit with most of the removal while our opponents didn't. Uh, we got hit by a mental misstep. We got hit by a force of negation. We got hit by a fire covenant. I think was there another counter early in the game? I don't remember. 
Yeah, we basically, we had nothing in play, so when that happens, you just can't win games, so. So, yeah, the issue wasn't Voltron this game, the issue was being the arch enemy. So, gonna run it out there again, we'll see what happens again. So, thank you guys for watching, see you in the next video.